I'm gonna teach you the perfect order in which you should apply for your credit cards. Wants to teach you this is the best credit card for cash back, this is the best credit card for travel, but nobody is teaching you how to get there. So, on today's episode, I'm gonna break it down to show you the exact order in which you should be applying for your credit cards, all of the different tiers, and this is the exact recipe that I've given to thousands of my clients, and they have seen the success and they're really shocked. They're like, Wow, I didn't realize I can get there this quickly and that easily. And then, this exact recipe is what's gonna help you transition if you want to continue and go to even higher levels in the credit card game. But it all starts with the basics. So let's take it back to the basics and I'm gonna take you over to the whiteboard. And here we are, this is the perfect credit card ladder. Now, this is gonna start from the very beginning because it's very crucial. And I wasn't playing when I said I was gonna take it back to the whiteboard. I need to get one of those really crazy digital whiteboards installed in my office. I don't have it yet, so we're gonna start right here with the basics. Now, I want this to be very, very simple for you to understand, so it's not very confusing. It all starts here, right here with your debit card. Okay, this is where everyone fails to understand how vital this is. This is what we call the relationship starter. We want to start the relationship with a bank or a large credit union. A great example, Chase Bank, Capital One. Those are two good banks that you can start establishing a relationship that offer other credit cards and other credit products. And you also have Discover Bank. Now it's not on here because these are just examples, but Discover Bank is another great debit card relationship starter. You're gonna open up a checking, a savings, and do a direct deposit. And of course, my favorite, the security secured loan for a minimum of 24 months. You want to do all of this for a minimum of 91 days to a maximum of six months before you move into your starter credit cards because establishing this relationship is super crucial and it's going to help the banks know that they can trust you to use their money because these banks right here, both of them, the credit union or the regular big bank is gonna help us get to other high limit credit cards. Chase Bank has the Freedom Rise, Freedom Freedom Unlimited, then you have Navy Federal that has the Platinum credit card. Both of these can get us into those starter cards because we've already established the relationship here. And our next phase is going to be the credit starters. We wanna get these credit starters to get our credit going. This is what's gonna build the backbone for your credit score. You have the Capital One Platinum card. People sleep on this credit card because people talk trash about it, but this is the entry level for anyone that has bad credit. Or even if you have decent credit, or you have no credit. The Platinum card is the entry level with Navy Federal, and then you have the Quicksilver. All of these are what we want to be our credit starters. But again, going back to the Chase card, just as an example, they have the Freedom Rise for people that don't have credit. So you can start there because guess what? You already established a relationship. And if, let's say for instance, as another example, if you did the Discover checking account and savings account, then you can go after a Discover It credit card to start. You wanna build with these starter credit cards for a minimum of three to six months, building and establishing your credit profile before you even get to these beginner entry level reward credit cards. I wanna give a special shout out to all my beasters out there that are working hard to fix their credit using Dispute Beast, the most advanced AI credit repair software ever created. But specifically, I wanna give a shout out to Matthew. Matthew's credit score went up 285 points after one round with Dispute Beast. And Maurice, Maurice's credit score went up 237 points after one round with Dispute Beast also, but let's not forget Shakia. Shakia's credit score went up 215 points after just one round with Dispute Beast also. Now, Dispute Beast link is going to be in the video description and pinned at the top of the comments for anyone that needs to fix their credit. Now, if you notice, there are no open skies, no credit ones, no first premieres. None of that trash is necessary because we are building and establishing a relationship first. We don't need that trash. We want to keep all the good credit cards on our credit profile. And now we are in the beginning stages of our reward life. As you can see, we have the Discover It. We have the cashback rewards with Navy Federal. And this Quicksilver can also be counted as a reward entry level credit card. We're getting cash back rewards. Now remember, everyone's needs and wants are gonna be different. You don't have to just be on cash back rewards. You don't just have to be on maximum high level rewards. Everyone's needs are different. It all has to be dependent on your lifestyle, not mine, but yours. But this is exactly how you build up to those other ones if that's what you're looking for. Now pay attention here. We were 
in this section right here for three to six months. Right here, we're in this section for another three to six months. So in this section right here, we're already at a maximum of one year. Now, when you get to this point, that's another three to six months. So we're at 1.5 years right now currently. Now you can do three, three month increments also if that's all you wanna do, but I'm just telling you maximum point. By the time you get to this point right here, you should already be at a 700 credit score because you're paying on time and you're being responsible with all of your credit cards. Also be aware, this doesn't mean you have to have all these credit cards. These are just examples. So I don't want you to think that you have to have right out the gate, you know, five credit cards. No, pick and choose the ones that make sense for your lifestyle. Remember, you can only have two to five credit cards at max to get yourself to an 850 credit score. You don't have to have 20, 30, or 40 credit cards to accomplish that. Now again, another three to six months in this sector, and we're gonna move over to the amateur credit cards. Now you're looking at the green card right here, and you're looking at the Apple credit card. A lot of people like to talk trash about this card, but it is great because guess what? It's going to offer high limits. Another great American Express amateur credit card is going to be the American Express Everyday Cash Card because it has no annual fee and guess what? You're gonna get cash back rewards also. But the whole point of being in the high limit sector right here is because guess what? Back here, we already started that. If you got a Navy Federal Platinum card, you probably got it with a 2,000, 6,000, even possibly a $10,000 credit limit. Then you got to the cash back rewards. This credit card goes all the way up to $25,000. So if you're building up over here, here, by the time you get to the amateur section, you should be with a high limit of at least above $10,000. That's the goal. High limits is what helps keep your utilization low, helping you maintain a higher credit score. And in the amateur section, you can also be looking at something like the Chase Freedom Flex or the Chase Freedom Unlimited, because guess what? We've already established a relationship over here with Chase, so we can get to that amateur credit card in this sector. It's not up here because that's not one of the cards that I have, unfortunately, but it, because I have other Chase credit cards and I kind of skipped that level of credit cards. But for anyone, that's another option for the amateur section. And the reason why I'm a huge fan of this Apple credit card, because this credit card can go all the way up to $30,000. You can request a credit limit increase every six months or at maximum once a year. And guess what? The Apple credit card is backed by Goldman Sachs and Goldman Sachs is generally going to be generous to all of their users as long as you use your credit card responsibly, pay it off in full every single month, and guess what? Goldman Sachs is gonna actually give you a credit limit increase with no hard inquiry. And now again, if you pay attention, another three to six months in this sector right here, and now guess what? We are in the free travel world, that's right. We're gonna be getting points to travel for free. Now, of course, being in the sector, you're looking at annual fee credit cards. This has to make sense for your lifestyle. You want to at least be able to travel one to three times a year for these credit cards to make sense because guess what? They're not free anymore. Now we've graduated from all these credit cards that are generally not going to have any annual fees. But now once you get into the free max reward, free travel credit cards, those are actually going to have annual fees. So they have to make sense for your lifestyle. But using the American Express Gold Card as an example, you're looking at a $325 annual fee to have this credit card in your wallet, but you're going to get $504 worth of credits annually. So they're actually gonna give you $179 more in value of statement credits to keep this in your wallet. And you're gonna get 4X points for dining, 4X points on groceries. I mean, it's kind of a no-brainer instead of using a debit card all the way over here, you just use your credit card. And then that's gonna help you travel for free. That's gonna get you all the way down to, if you want to, you wanna upgrade and get a platinum card. You get a flagship card. This credit card right here goes all the way up to $50,000. And the, of course, these right here are charge cards. But the goal of having these in your wallet is to travel for free. So you can get the travel points, best benefits, lounge access, and travel insurance. But remember, these are all examples. There are other credit cards that also are gonna give you those max rewards to equal free travel. And the last and final boss in the credit card world are business credit cards. And now we are in the business credit card world. This is where we're gonna get the max travel, the crazy rewards, the high limits, and of course, my favorite, 
the zero percent offers. So we're looking at zero percent APR, usually for about eight to 12 months. Some of them will go all the way up to 18 months, but it's very rare, but usually 12 months is the gold standard. We wanna to get to these high limit credit cards for business. Now people are gonna say, well, I don't have a business, Mike. You're correct. And guess what? You don't have to have a business to get into these. You could be a sole prop. I, you heard me right. You could be someone with a side gig or a side job, and you can get into these because your personal credit that's been built all over here is going to get you to these credit cards and if you manage your small business or your entrepreneurship properly you can hide your utilization away from all of these maintaining a good personal credit score and use these credit cards instead that's pretty crazy right this right here is a fifty thousand dollar credit card this right here is a twenty thousand dollar credit card this right here is a charge card this is a charge card and this is another $20,000 credit card. Now this one came with a 0% intro APR for 12 months. This one did also. And this one I think was 18 months, which was pretty crazy, but they all have benefits. And guess what? If you ever need to carry a balance, whether it be for your business or your personal life or an, for an actual emergency, guess what? You can hide that utilization over here. This will not affect your personal credit score unless you get a late payment. So you never want to get a late payment. Remember that because even if you get it on your personal side, it, I mean, I'm sorry, on your business side, it can affect your personal world. As long as we maintain these and we pay them on time and we use them properly, you can keep a perfect credit score over here. Keep building over here. But now you're in the business credit card travel world and you're getting crazy elite benefits. So there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. I just gave you the perfect credit card ladder on how to build and establish your credit profile. Now, if you didn't see any of your credit cards on that list, don't worry, you can still hold those credit cards. But understand, you never want to close a credit card just because I say so, because I say it sucks. Because at the end of the day, if you close a credit card, it can have a negative impact on your credit profile because you're going to lose that age and that available credit. But understand, if you do decide that you want to close a credit card now your score will begin to rebound usually in about six months how long will it take to rebound i'm not 100 sure because every credit profile is different so just understand that but remember you don't need trash credit cards to get to the reward credit cards is just not necessary now before you ask me what credit score do i need for this credit card that credit card if you build it exactly how i taught you you don't have to worry about your credit score because you're building as you go and if you remember i told you exactly where you should be at and how many points you should have you should have at least 700 points in the beginning sector of your credit card world or your credit card life so don't be stressed just understand this is really a huge lesson for you to really understand how to grow your credit profile because I felt like honestly nobody else has ever done this like this before so I hope you enjoyed this video we covered another big one on the perfect credit card ladder from beginning to end now remember the ladder does not end there this is just the beginning there are other credit cards that you can add to it if you would like to now make sure that you watch this next video because it is about the American Express gold card I believe it's one of the best to have in your wallet you could watch that go over crazy detail all about that credit card if you like now if you felt that I brought you some value in this video make sure that you don't forget and subscribe to increase your credit score